Hi, my name is Sudarshan. Uh, today we'll start up with a session called security and sharing concepts in a Salesforce. Okay. In last session we have seen about a um, session called uh, how to set up a data or how to uh, how to automate the process there with the help of approval processes or with the help of uh, process builder or with the help of workflows. In today's session we are going to see the complete details about how to set up a security for our objects and how to set up a security for our data because security is a vital role in this particular uh, field that means in a secure uh, software field security for a data is one of the important concept what we are going to see okay the same uh, same security will be coming up here okay in salesforce the security they are going to put it with the help of three or four different things okay i mean uh, with the help of different features okay first is object level security field level security and a record level security okay these three things we are going to do it with the help of different things okay in uh, mainly with the help of our first obviously obviously for our uh, sales force I mean, uh, whatever the application we are going to create that should not be accessed by everyone okay that should be accessed by only some of the people whoever is having the access that means whoever, whoever is the authorized people are there only they should have access for our org or for the, for our applications okay for example i created a recruitment app in our application or in our org that recruitment app should not be accessed by some person who is not authorized to use this application they should not be able to access this system basically okay in other programming languages or in other frameworks or in other technologies what we are going to do is we will write some uh, security concepts there we will use some uh, configuration um, files with the help of that we will mention only these people uh, should be able to access it or if we have a database there we will set up who should be the user who should be able to access this system all those things we are going to set up in a security there in a database then we will hit the database and we will check okay this particular person is authorized to access our system or not okay we will set up all those things in uh, other technologies but in salesforce that much complexity is not required okay mainly uh, security is important obviously so for that what salesforce is doing is they are going is going to set up a different level of security for everything okay with the help of uh, profiles and with the help of roles okay that we'll see in detail in the next coming sessions okay first we'll start up with yes obviously i was telling no everyone in the i mean everyone in the world should not be able to access my application only the person who is having authorized access they should be able to access my system so for that purpose what we are do, going to do is we are going to create a users there okay you, who is user first of all user is a person who uses our application okay he could be an administrator or he he, he can be a, a normal user or he will be a normal end user kind of thing or my customer could be okay those people are users who uses a application and whoever is a user here they will have a, a proper password for that and they should create i mean they should create those passwords okay and users once I, if I am a normal user, if I try to log into the Salesforce, okay, there what will happen is I'll not be able to modify everything in the org, or I'll not be able to use everything in the org. That will be decided with the help of profile there, okay. And here, uh, before going to the profile, first here users are the person who uses application. That's it, okay. So first we'll tr we'll go to our Salesforce. This is our setup, okay. In a setup, there is something in so many other uh, places we have seen uh, users window here okay under manage users i have an option called users okay under users there are the list of users are available here if i want to create a new user i can create a new user here or if i want to modify any existing user i can open up a user by clicking on that full name then the user will be opened up here if you want to edit anything here you can edit a people here. Uh, you can edit a information here okay i don't want to modify anything for that let's keep it like that okay so but if i have a user in a user these are the things which are mandatory things that means username email address username and first name last name license which license i am going to use profile these are the uh, mandatory things or required things i have to have before creating a user there because obviously right uh, first username what is the username he should be able to log in whenever i am trying to log into the salesforce there i have to provide a username so in the same way that username should be provided when i am creating a user there 
okay uh, email address is actual email address for a communication purpose because uh, when the user is creating okay the user will be able to get i mean will get a email notification saying like this is the user is created in a salesforce and you have to verify the email address uh, until and unless the email address is verified the user will not be created here or he is not an active person basically okay and once he click on that verify account he will be able to i mean he will redirect to the page saying like you have to enroll for this something like that he he has to give a password there all those things he should do he should do there and user's first name and last name based on that username will be generated basically if you want to change it out you can change it out we'll see that how to create that okay then a license license in the sense see uh, my org okay or my organization bought a license for um, some 10 people okay those 10 people are uh, license of salesforce license if I buy a Salesforce license, that is complete license which will have access for all the places in our organization as per my requirements or as per my business pay, uh, business requirements. But the license could be like uh, I bought a license for uh, three people. Okay, If I try to uh, take a Salesforce license for one more person, then I have to buy it from a Salesforce. Until and unless buy it, for, uh, buy it from a Salesforce, I will not be able to create a user for a Salesforce license okay that is of some cost okay uh, based on a license profile will be derived because uh, when i create a profile there i am going to create a profile for a particular uh, license okay so the same uh, license will be important there okay so when i am creating a user here first i have to select a license based on a license prof uh, profile will be generated or a profile will be uh, populated okay see what i'm going to say is if i click on new user here okay since mine is a developer edition here i'll be able to create one more extra user of a salesforce license okay here first name last name alias name will be automatically populated and a username uh, username email address nickname all these things will be automatically populated and if you want to set up anything extra like mailing address ct zip post all those things if you want to put you can put it here okay this is the new okay uh, then a time zone where you are working on and this we have seen right approver settings who should be the delegated approver who should be the manager for this user all those things i can set it set it up here and once i click on save the user will be created so let's try to create a user here saying like uh, ganesh like that see alias name is automatically generated let me give my mail address okay then a username is automatically coming up but as a person i am going to change this username that username should be in a, uh, uh, i mean should be in my format of uh, our this one correct so uh, should be in a format of our um, format of email address that's it nothing else i'm sorry okay let me make it as ctc okay and here role uh, that is showing it as a uh, mandatory right but that is not a mandatory thing that is optional this role we'll see in the next coming session okay and a user license i'm going to select a salesforce license on a salesforce license based on my license here the profile is getting changed if i tell charter free the profile is getting changed here see if i select charter external the external user will be able to access my charter window that's it he'll not be able to access anything else he'll be able to access only the charter uh, charter part or a charter tool if i click on charter free the person should be available in salesforce only he will be able to access my thing that is a charter only the charter part he will be able to access and if i uh, that is a free of cost force.com app subscription this is something like for app okay let it be and force.com free identity partner and a salesforce okay this salesforce uh, license is nothing but see based on a salesforce license the uh, user uh, are i mean the profiles are getting changed here the profiles are like see for a salesforce license these are the profiles are configured there already so that means contract manager is there these are the built-in profiles which is provided by salesforce if you want to create your own profile you can create it that will see afterwards 
okay if i select system admin what will happen is one more person will be created as a system admin but i don't want to do that i can uh, create a standard user that is one more profile which is available i'm just creating that okay next after that quick access menu crm content user all these things are some of the uh, basic things which is already available here that is salesforce already provided it okay just click on save now the user is created and the mail is sent to this particular mail address so if i go to that mail and if i click on verify address there okay let's let's go to that mail address now Let's go to that mail address. I'm just clicking on that button now. This is my mail address. Okay, there is a button called verify account. Once I click on verify account, okay, um, let me copy the link. What I'll do is I'll just open it up with my. paste on url let me click on login now now it will ask me to provide a username and credentials it should ask me to provide username and credential there okay once i click on let me click on verify button okay i clicked on a verify button from my mobile <coughs> something happened there uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on reset password on that link because the password should be reset there clicking on reset password reset the password for this user the mail is generated for this now what I'm going to do is I'm just clicking on a finish resetting a password for that user Now the user is created there. 
now what I am going to do is I am just clicking on that page okay see the user is created but of the profile this standard user now next thing is what is profile I am telling profile 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 right what is profile profile is the place where we are going to set up or where we are going to decide for which tab for which object or that is a place the access we are going to set up for the data and for the whole org okay if I log into the Salesforce org what all the access I should have basically I shouldn't be able to access everything in the org I should be able to access only the required things okay some of the non required things are available not required things are available that I don't want to give access for the end user I want to set it up with the help of some uh, some uh, configuration part so for that we have a concept called profile with the help of profile we are going to uh, we are going to restrict a user to or uh, we are going to set up a user what type of access he should have what for what all the things he should have access in a org okay those are the things we are going to set up using a profile okay in this in this one okay choosing the data set okay here that's what object level security that's what in salesforce okay uh, we will we'll see first we will create a profile here first we will create a profile here to create a profile left side just search for in our setup just search for profiles or you can go to manage users there is an option called profiles just click on that profile button in a profile button there is a new profile is avail available button is available there are so many existing profiles are there just you want to use you can use it there just click on new profile there is an existing profile option is available okay in an existing profile option we have um, this is like from what profile I want to create a new profile because the profile is having so many other things in a salesforce see you let me open one of the profile here let's go for a standard uh, standard profile only let me click on let's go to next page see let me open a standard profile here see in a standard profile so many uh, so many settings are available or so many configurations we have to do if i want to do all this configuration it will take some point of time so instead of that any related profiles are available or any nearing profiles are available i can copy from that profile or i can create it from from that particular profile so what we are going to do is let me create a profile based on this standard profile so let's create uh, click on new profile let me select a standard profile there okay. here let me say like temp study profile that is a st uh, temporary standard profile just click on save now the profile is created if you want to modify anything just you want to know right whether this profile is a custom profile or a standard profile for that we have a checkbox here that will not be able to edit here by default that will come once I create a new profile here and if you want to see what all the users are available under this profile you can click on this view users option okay this is the profile which is created just now okay now in this profile we have so many other things we are going to see now okay first is object level security okay object level security is nothing but for which object I have to have access that means what is the access for this object whatever the object I am having in a salesforce okay for this object for our example object A what are the access I should have for object B what access I should have whatever the users are available under this profile once they log into the system what are the places or what are the objects he should be able to access whether he should be able to access my candidate object or whether he should be able to access my account object all those things will be derived with the help of profile okay in a profile we are going to set up for this object whether he should have even for objects also if I give a read access then the person will be able to access or the user will be able to access only the option related to I mean only he will be able to read a information from that object that means whatever the information he is going I mean which is created or which is assigned to that guy only he will be able to access only that many things he will not be able to access everything in the org okay that is one thing next if I set up create there then he will be able to have only I mean he will be able to create a new records in a salesforce then he will not be able to have I mean then he will not be able, he will not be able to modify the existing record or he will not be able to delete the existing record if I give a modify permission okay if I give a edit permission then he will be able to do 
two things that is reading a record and the other one is a modifying the record he will not be able to delete a record if i give a delete option then he will be able to do both that means read edit and a delete okay so those are the things we, we will set it up with the help of object level security okay in object level security if i want to see how to set up this object level security just search here saying like object okay we will not get it like that there is a uh, thing called as standard object permissions here this standard object permission is completely for a standard objects this is how we have to set up here and our custom objects will be down below okay there i have to select whether i have to give a read access create access edit access delete access this will see afterwards okay da uh, data administration part now if i uh, now let me assign a user here for this particular person see there are no users are uh, added for this so let me add some users for this user license let's take um, okay what we'll do is we'll go to users here okay from a users window for this guy i'm going to change a profile there i'm going to put a different profile that is a temporary standard profile i'm going to assign now let me click on save okay now what i'm going to do is let me log in as that guy now we'll see what are the things i'll be able to access okay let's say like login.salesforce.com let's copy the username of this guy copy the password whatever i'm setting for a that user right same password i have to give here now come back to this let's completely close this off let me open this profile now okay there is a password which is sent for me i think passcode it is something logged into the org now okay this is in lightning let's switch back to a classic now by clicking on name here just click on switch to classic because we don't want uh, lightning now okay switch to salesforce classic see if i open this i don't have access for i'm just opening a recruitment app but i am unable to see account object i am unable to see other objects whatever it is there or other tabs which is available here okay those things we have to set it up <coughs> with the help of this page layout so, i mean with the help of profile here we are going to set up access for profile okay we'll set up for candidate object now before that what i'm going to do is let me click on edit button here see i'm unable to see the candidate object so let me give access for candidate object let me clean give a read access okay let's just save this info if i don't have a access for that particular profile i mean for that particular object then i not be able to have a access for that but i am not a set i didn't set a access for the tab okay only i created a object i mean only i gave access for my object for the uh, tab that is already available there default on is available so because of that i am able to access there see for a custom tab setting that is set it as default on so because of that i'm an, i'm able to see the candidate tab here but if i don't have access for my object then even though you have given access for the tab you will not be able to access it here that's what the object record i mean object level security derives a lot here you have given access for page layout all those things are doesn't matter only matters is object level security okay if you set up a record level security also that doesn't matter until and unless you set up uh, access for that object user will not be able to access the object only 
okay once you set up an access for the object only the uh, only those objects the user will be able to access see here i am unable to have a button called new button that means and even though so many records are available when i click on go okay those records which is displaying now here okay so here i am i am unable to see the button called new button here okay if you click on that i mean you are not able to see the uh, new button even in a list also you are not able to see the new button if you open this record also okay if you click on any button here those buttons i mean those buttons are not displaying like edit button modification all those buttons you are not di you are not able to see and see here so many even though so many fields are available only some of the fields you are able to see here okay all the fields are not available now okay like that uh, okay so that is a uh, that is a usage of object there and here in object level security now if i give access as create access then let me just modify this okay let's try to give a access for that let me remove read access let's try to give a create access once i give a create access automatically the read access will come into picture if i give edit access there then only the edit button will come into picture that means if i click on this button see now edit button is not displaying if i give a edit access then only that edit option will come into picture and until and unless i give a delete option or uh, i enable a delete there the delete button will not be enabled here or will not be displayed here only the edit button will be displayed now see edit and a clone okay why the clone is coming is i have given access for cre uh, create back to list of candidates see now i am i am able to see the button called candidate button if i click on candidate here here also i'll be able to see the new button here okay like that we can set up access for those uh, for those uh, object okay if i don't set up access for that object then i will not be able to view those uh, records there okay so that is one thing next okay that is a main usage of object level security here we are going to set up for which object i should have access for which object i shouldn't have access all those things we can set it up with the help of profile okay so that is the main usage of object level security like that we can set up a object level security next is a field level security okay before that there is one more thing called permission set that we'll see afterwards okay first we'll see the field level security in a field level security see i have an object now in my object i am having a some 100 records i mean 100 fields but i don't want to put 100 fields for all the users or for all the profiles i want to put it for some profile based on my stages for example if i have a opportunity stage there in a prospecting stage i don't want to get or in a prospect stage i don't want to show all the fields to the end user for a normal user i want to show only basic fields for the user that user based on my next levels i want to or based on my next stages i want to have other fields there so in those cases we can go for a field level securities that is based on a profile <coughs> based on a profile i can set up a field level uh, security that means for this record uh, i mean for this field i should give a read only access or i should give a edit access that we are going to uh, define it with the help of field level security within, within a profile here to set up a field level security just search for candidate here okay under custom field level security there is something called view okay even for a standard objects the field level security is there for standard field level security if you click on this view button which will display what all the fields are available under that particular object so if you want to edit it just click on edit button see for every record or for every uh, fields i am having a access called read access all the things are already available but edit access is not there for all the fields here okay if you try to edit also let's try to edit this record okay see so many fields are displaying see but country field state field and country and state and is active checkbox those fields are not displaying here when i click on edit see for uh, is active checkbox and for country let's change this for dob also and for pan also let me remove let's click on save here see now let me edit that page again okay when i see when i click on this edit page 
see um, i don't have access for date of birth i don't have access for pan number because of this things that means edit access i removed for, for those fields so i don't have access for that okay if i try to modify i'll not be able to edit those fields that's it nothing else okay if i click on edit here whatever the access you are going to put okay but by default if i click on this edit access automatically the read access will be provided okay so let me give it like that just click on save now if i try to see this page i should be able to see all the fields available in the particular object that means if i try to edit also i should be able to see whatever the access i have given for that those record access should be provided for that okay like that uh, we can create a like that we can set up a field level security here okay so just go back to profile okay see now i have one more one more object right that is a payment information object but that object i am unable to see here i want to give only for this particular user saying like you should have access for this payment object okay under this profile i don't want to give same access for everyone i don't want to give access for this profile users i don't want to give access for my payment object okay only for one or two users i want to give access for payment object okay only those two users should fill the payment information records so i don't want to set it up with set it up those uh, access for my other users so in those cases we can create a permission set that means the permission set will uh, help us to enhance or will help us to uh, provide extra access for those users whoever we are setting up for that that means if i set up for example for this user if i set up a, a payment uh, information object access then this user will be able to access a payment information object if i have a, one more user under this profile if i don't give access or if i didn't give access for that permission set or if i don't assign that particular user under that permission set then then what will happen is that user will not be able to access my payment object only if i set up that permission set then only the person will be able to access that until and unless if you give access why we need this access is why we need a permission set basically is see there there is a scenario may come saying like uh, we'll check how the user will be able to or how the user experience will come if i give access for my payment object okay i want to check like that type of scenarios as per a business requirements then we can go for a permission set there in a permission set we will set up like for which profile for i mean for which user what is the access i want to put okay in a permission set basically permission set is similar to our uh, profile only there we are going to set up access based on object level securities and a field level securities same object level security field level security will come into picture there so there whatever the uh, access you are going to set up so based on that access i'll be able to uh, access a object or i'll be able to uh, see the different fields there see for example in my object i already set up a access for candidate object but using a permission set i will not be able to restrict that access for the candidate object okay only i will be able to give extra access using the permission set for the respective profiles i mean for the respective users not for a profile for a users we are going to set up this permission set to create a permission set just search here called as permission set under a manage user section okay, just click on permission set there there is a button called new permission set once i click on new permission set it will ask us to give a label here temp spd profile permission set okay automatically that api name will be uh, created and a session activation required i am giving let's say i am not selecting any license because if i want to put this uh, thing uh, put this permission set for only salesforce related uh, licenses then i have to select that if i want to set it for uh, all other profiles there for example i want to give access for uh, payment object for two three uh, different profiles uh, users then i will not be able to uh, set up with a license okay i have to set up without a license there here first is assigned app uh, assigned apps is option is available that means if i don't have access for this particular uh, user i mean for this particular app then i can provide it with the help of assigned app section and there is assigned uh, connected apps there is a connected apps are available like a data load or kind of things are available that you can use it out if i give access over there and next is the object settings in object settings 
we are going to see all the objects available here if I want to set up for one of the object just click on that object here I can give a access there okay see for account object in my user here I am unable to see account object and a payment information object that I can set it with the help of this okay like this I can go to permission set only for this user I want to give this access so I am creating a permission set in a permission set I am giving access as read and create and edit okay read and edit access and for what all the fields you should have access okay for all the fields you should have access all those I am setting up here this this column is a read access this column is a edit access if I set up only read access the user will be able to see the information but he will not be able to or he will I mean he is unable to modify the information okay so let's just save this off <coughs> once I save if I come and refresh this page okay, that tab access is not provided yet okay this I didn't assign it for any users right I have to click on manage assignments here to assign this for any user I didn't assign it for any users see there are no users list are available just click on assign select that user and click on assign done now if I come and refresh here the page should be uh, I mean the account tab should be displayed to me here okay that is not coming let's go back to permission set here Let's go to that profile. Let's go to standard temporary standard profile. What access is provided for that user? We'll check first. I mean, what tab access is provided for account? Let's check first. Account layout field level security tab settings is default on standard record type. it is not available right okay. because in our profile sorry not in our profile in our recruitment app we set up app just like that right without anything like that let me open that app first we'll see whether that account object is there or not in that app or account tab sorry just click on see by default uh, by default that particular uh, tab is not available so I am unable to see that let me add that tab now
account tab is coming so in the same way if i want to give access for my payment information object then i can go for payment information here that is a payment information object that doesn't have any access now so just click on payment information then you can provide access here I want to give access as for a tab I want to give access as a visible access that means the page should be visible to me okay and visible access read create edit all this access and a field uh, I want to give all the access there see for other fields I, I don't have any access saying like uncheck that read access I am unable to uncheck why because those are the standard fields one, one thing candidate candidate by candidate is a master detail relationship that master detail is a mandatory thing so by default it will come okay for installment install amount those are the required fields so i don't have access to uncheck those things okay by default it will be available okay like that let's click on save now if i click on this page okay, if i refresh this page automatically that payment information tab should be visible to me saved yes let's click on object settings if i go to payment information now the uh, page is visible now let's refresh this page okay let's open the recruitment app again the payment information is displayed payment information here is which is default of actually first it will take that one then it will take a permission set access so let me give uh, access for that particular tab first okay, that is uh, payment information let me give it as default on
like that we can set up a access for our objects okay like that we can set up access for every object with the help of this permission sets okay that's how we can set up access with the help of permission set if you want to give extra access for those users okay then only we have to use a permission set if you want to set up access same access for every users in the profile then you can go for a profile there then you can set up any access but if you want to use any a particular access there then we are going to create it with the help of permission set in a permission set we are just first we will create a permission set then we will set up what type of access that user should have or that person should have okay if i click on assign apps here okay like that we can assign a recruitment app there then as a end user if he doesn't have access for recruitment app then he will be able to access the recruitment app over there then he can do whatever modification he wants to perform okay like that we can set up a permission set okay in a permission set again we can give access for visual force pages or page layouts all those things we can do it here okay like that uh, we can perform or we can create a permission sets here with the help of salesforce okay that's how uh, that's how we can use a permission set here and that's how we can set up access for all the profiles okay or all the users whoever is available in a salesforce okay that's it for uh, that's it for now okay in next session we'll see about uh, roles okay how to set up access for records in this session we have seen about how to set up access for object how to set up how to set up access for tabs and how to set up access for different fields okay with the help of profiles and with the help of permission set but but in next session we are going to see how to set up access for records okay whatever the records is created in salesforce should it be accessible for everyone in the org or should it be accessible or not that we are going to set up with the help of roles and owd with the help of all those things we are going to set up there okay that we'll see in the next coming session okay that's it for now thanks for your time bye bye